What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hawes Capital video. I think we got a really good one for you guys today, uh, especially if you're someone who recently claimed the FMOS airdrop, this video is for you. Uh, in the video, what I'm going to do uh, when it's all said and done is I'm going to show anyone who has been waiting uh, to get their FMOS out of the Kepler wallet, I'm going to show you guys how to not have to wait another two to three days for the development team to turn on the import feature uh, for this rec drop. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen the price of Evmos go from six to four. And at the rate we're going, if we continue to wait for the Evmos team to open up the import, uh, by the time we actually get to cash out some of this airdrop, it may already have halved itself, if not gone even lower. So let's be proactive, guys. I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and I'm going to show you guys how to get the jump on everything. If you find this content to be helpful if you guys have been enjoying the content and the videos i've been putting up on this channel do me a favor go ahead like subscribe to the videos in the channel uh, i'll continue to post more info and videos on DeFi opportunities uh and I, as i always tell you guys um no no video that i have done on this channel uh has been sponsored has been paid for uh, I have not received any form of compensation uh, in the form of tokens, money, or anything for any videos I produce. Uh, so none of these are shills, all right? I'm just an investor like you guys looking for opportunity. When I come across them, I try to share them, and I hope these videos are helpful. So with that said, let's jump into this, and I'm going to show you guys how to transfer out of Kepler to MetaMask so that way you can sell and do whatever it is you guys want to do. Uh, so many of you guys might be like me in which you may have claimed your airdrop early especially if you claimed it back in march your airdrop is in the kepler wallet and you're stuck over here waiting for them to turn this import feature on all right um you don't have to wait any longer guys i'm going to show you guys how to uh go ahead and skip through all of that what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and come over to evmos.despairs.network all right once you come over here they do have the opportunity and the option that way you can do the evm transfer and you can get this out of the Kepler wallet to MetaMask. Because as of right now, um, I'm pretty sure uh, if you try to do any type of transfers whatsoever, uh, the transfers are basically showing up um, on the MetaMask like this. So if you try to do EVM or any type of transfer out of there, you're probably seeing it like this. You're getting the error, probably still saying invalid private keys, public keys, blah, blah, blah. Once you come over here to Evmos Despairs, you're going to click on send. All right. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put your MetaMask address in. And I've already done this four times, guys, just to make sure it worked before I did the video for you. It works. All right. It worked all four times. There is a little delay um, and it even will tell you an error comes up and you're going to have to refresh the page. But it will go. All right. So go ahead, paste your MetaMask address in there. That's going to be the 0x address. I've got 3.8, so I'm going to go ahead and send three and a half of those to the MetaMask, hit next, and then hit send. It should pop up in your Kepler wallet and ask you to go ahead and sign and confirm. Once you approve the transaction, give it a second, guys, all right? This is the part where you kind of got to be a little patient and you're going to have to wait. Um, give it some time. It'll come up. It'll process more than likely you'll see another pop-up come up on this website and it will tell you there was an error uh transaction unable to send aborted um network failed after six seconds or some something like that i don't remember what it said but i got a message something like that however every time that message come up it came up all four times for me but all four times my evmos ended up from kepler in the metamask where i needed it to go all right so just let it be patient uh, and right now, guys, like I said, you can bring it over to Diffusion Finance. Uh, and again, it's hopefully this is helpful to you, a lot of you, because uh, it's a shame to watch the airdrop go from such a good value. Uh, and it's just losing value every day, every day, as only a certain amount of people are able to go ahead and get out and sell. Um, the pools for Diffusion have actually opened up. Uh, so for anyone who is interested, you can actually do some farming and pooling now. Uh, again, be careful. You know, liquidity is still growing on there. You know, as of yesterday, liquidity was pretty Pretty poor, but uh, that's actually a pretty decent jump in liquidity as of right now. Um, let's come back over here. All right, good. So as you guys can see, I got the error message. It did come up. It said sending tokens fail transaction. All I'm going to do is I'm going to X out of that. I'm going to go ahead and refresh my page over here. Give it a second. Uh, let it go ahead and refresh. And then your token balance should adjust itself and you should see your tokens in MetaMask. You see my tokens are gone. Now, when I come over to MetaMask, look at that, guys. Give it a second. Let's let it update. 
MetaMask now has the additional three and a half tokens, all right? And just so you guys know, like I said, if you want to, let me go ahead and refresh uh, the Diffusion page. All the Evmos pages I know are moving uh, pretty slow, um, taking a little bit of time to update. So they haven't quite updated balances uh, just yet. So let me refresh Diffusion. So it should update and show that there are nine and a half Evmos in there right now. There you go. Nine and a half Evmos. And if you wanted to go ahead and sell it, guys, like I said, um, just for the purpose of this video to show you guys, you could swap it out, confirm swap, and you can go ahead and start cashing out some of your airdrop if you guys want to go ahead and do that. I always think that, um, you know, a good idea is to always maybe take a portion of these airdrops you get and allocate it to a Bitcoin position or an Ethereum position. Uh, once again, to me, everything is speculation other than Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, and it goes for all of my favorite coins too, including Luna, Avalanche, Polkadot, Cosmos. It's all speculation other than Bitcoin and Ethereum. So don't fool yourself. Make sure you guys are accumulating Bitcoin too. And these airdrops are a perfect way to accumulate Bitcoin, guys. Um, it's free money. You can roll that into Bitcoin. Anyways, that's it, guys. I hope this video was helpful. I just wanted to share with you guys how to go ahead and maybe take advantage early so you don't have to wait and cash out. If you're looking to cash out, again, if you want to stake, if you want to swap, if you want to pool, whatever it is you want to do, you can do. It's your choice. It's your money. You got to make that decision for you. I hope this video is helpful, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.